I'm Lynn Prowse Bishop and this is the Virtual Business Show. Today we're going to be looking at admin and clerical work and whether it's perceived as being unskilled. What do you think? I was doing some work for a client the other day and he was making recommendations in a report that someone would be suitable for reasonably unskilled work, unquote, like administrative and office or clerical work. It got me thinking, does the general public really think that secretaries and other administration or clerical staff are unskilled? Now, this couldn't be further from the truth. Many administrative professionals hold diplomas. Some even hold degrees in business management. Many have certificate four in workplace training and assessment qualifications. At the very least, they'll have done some sort of training, whether it be bookkeeping, switchboard operation, been to business college or done certificates in typing and software or computer skills. Whilst it's true that just about everyone can type these days, there's a definite difference between the chook, peck, two or even three finger typist and a touch typist. Touch typing is a skill, there's no doubt about it, and when you can touch type it over 100 words a minute, that too is skillful. Secondly, there's a definite distinction between a typist and a transcriptionist. Work isn't just typed anymore. It also needs to be edited, proofed, laid out, formatted, in many cases grammar checked on the fly. That's a definite skill and not everybody can be a transcriptionist. So that covers typing, but what about the skills associated with learning specific software used by your employer? And in the case of a virtual assistant by any number of clients operating different systems who all have very different requirements. More often than not, the boss has no clue, or at least a very limited idea, how to use the software on his computer, and knowing how to use it in a cursory sense is different from understanding the full potential and power of many software programs that are available today. I still have clients who don't know how to track changes in Word. That's just one example. The computer on his desk is most often used to communicate via email, do some internet research or work on a spreadsheet. He or she has clerical or administrative staff quite simply because they don't have the necessary skills to do it all themselves, all the time, and of course nor should they. Administration in itself is a skill. Not everyone can do it. An effective administrator needs people skills, great verbal, written and listening skills, the ability to make decisions on the fly, delegate appropriately deal with customer complaints, visitors, suppliers and manage staff. My partner left school at 16 and can't type to save his life but he's the most skilled person I know when it comes to decorative iron work, leather work and he's got an amazing eye for photography. Does that make him unskilled because he doesn't have a uni qualification? I don't think so. Whilst those who have spent years at university and hold degrees in this or that might view themselves as more skilled unquote than others, isn't this mindset more intellectual snobbery than fact? I'm Lynn Prowse Bishop. Thanks very much for listening.